Okay, I think everything's up and running. I hope. Also, thank you for the hosts, uh, Ankesh and Pup to the Sound. Um, so tonight we're getting back into some Bloodborne. Just making sure I have all my shit set up. Okay. Mic is unmuted. It's always good. Um, so tonight... Uh, I left off last night at the Cleric Beast. Still didn't beat it. Don't know if I'm gonna beat it tonight. Not feeling super great, but I still want to take another shot at this. I have uh, one <laughs> total of one blood vial. One blood vial left, so I should probably... Just kill some mobs and try to get a couple more of those before I fight the boss again. That's uh, that's my strategy. We'll see if it works. <sighs> also, I have to mess around with the weapon some more, the whip in the whip form because I think there's some combos that I'm not doing. Wait, what is an oil urn? That seems like that would be useful. It makes things flammable. So what if I... What if I use one of that and then the Molotov? Where do I get one of those? Alright, so I didn't go down here yesterday. There was some menacing looking dude with an axe. I don't know if there's anything hiding behind him or if I'm just gonna get myself wrecked for no reason. Alright, I'm also kind of trying to learn the range of the whip. It's a little longer than I think it is. Fire always marks me. You had to refresh! What did you miss? Nothing. You missed nothing. Don't worry. You missed me getting hit by a torch for the 85th time. <laughs> I don't know what it is about those goddamn torches. This other attack almost never hits me. Then I always get fucking wrecked. So I'm gonna try to take on this dude with the axe. I haven't fought one of them before, so I don't know what his pattern is. What'd you end up cooking for dinner? Anything good? There's so much shit here. Someone's leaving all their boxes in the way. And there's sandbags. Alright, this guy looks like he's walking something. How we- Okay, <laughs> my face. How do I fight this guy? Alright, we aggroed him. He's just very slow. Chips. Chips. Okay, okay, okay. Back, back, back. Nope! <laughs> Alright, wait, this is where we- this is where we parry, I'm assuming. Nope, this is where we get wrecked, because we don't know how to parry. Get- oh, and I'm dead. Fucking dead. <laughs> So bad. Alright, so that guy obviously have to parry when he's doing his uh his chop shit. Actually I'd wanna kinda just practice the parrying because I really don't have the timing down on it at all on any enemies whatsoever. I double died, yep. I didn't have that many um blood echoes dropped, so it doesn't really matter. I gotta be more aggressatory. <laughs> that guy had a huge range on the axe, so I was trying to figure out how to tackle it best. This guy's taking a freaking nap over here. Also, the timing for the, uh, the life leech on the attacks I don't really get. 
1800 in boss skull. Eh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't take that long. It doesn't take that long to firm it up. At least not in this area. I just, I'm curious how much this guy gives you. Like, if he gives you vials, if he gives you molotovs, if he gives you like 100 EXP, I don't know. If he's worth engaging. Get souls up. back in the freaking uh, alley. Wasn't it? Where the fuck was I? It's down here. Ba -ba -ba. Hey evil crucifix, how you doing? How was your New Year's? Yes, I got my blood echoes. They're not souls! That's the wrong game! <laughs> That's the wrong game, H. Get your terminology right. Oh, boy. Good to see the circles have already started. Yeah, it's, it's worse because there's no map in this game, so we, we only have our brain map. Which makes it ultra, <laughs> ultra bad! Because I don't even have anything to, to uh, use as a, a guide. I'm trying to see if this dude is blocking anything down here, but I don't think so. Alright, do I just ignore him and just farm up these, uh, these guys? I can go up there. It's going good, hopeful for the new year. You, yeah, yeah, me too, me too. It was, uh, pretty, pretty low-key New Year's with the family. Played some board games, ate a lot of food. Nothing too crazy. But that's, uh, that's how I enjoy them. I'm not big on going out and partying anymore. Right now I'm just trying to beat the first boss in this game and I'm getting wrecked. Was I up here before? So I'm trying to collect a bunch of blood vials. So we can actually have a chance with the boss. I only have- oh, I have zero! Okay, we're off to a good start. I'm trying to figure out the best place to farm the enemies. Did I one-shot him? being up here, but it probably was. Yeah, no, I don't know. I remember. Spoiler! You are gonna die! <laughs> Thank you, Age! Alright, now I remember. Okay. This is where- this is a loop. book. Okay. It's just the other way. Alrighty. So, I can either use the blood echoes to level, or I can, uh, I can use the blood echoes to level, or I can buy blood vials with them. Cane sword? What? Oh, my weapon? It's very eh? Have you played Bloodborne? I just like it because it's badass. Badass looking. I'm still trying to get the hang of the range on the, uh, the whip. Yes, this is the easiest map. This is the easiest level. I know, Age. I know. I know you're a professional gamer. You beat the entire game? Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know you had a uh, PS4. No, I really like the way the game looks. Like, the art style and the setting is really awesome. 
in this uh, questionable like Victorian pirate fashion. I'm a, a swashbuckler. And the sounds are real spooky, like you can hear the enemies all creeping around you. But I'm still, I'm still getting wrecked by the first boss. I already died like eight times. I think I only faced him three or maybe four. I don't know if that's better or worse that I died to the mobs. Shots at the end there. You don't, but the base I am on has one for free use. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, that's good. That's even better. You didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> Use the length of the whip. Alright, any blood vials? Yes. Anyone? One blood vial! You forgot gun guy again! Nice! Also, hey Heavy Bear, how you doing tonight? Republic scum! Have you been playing the Star Wars game again? Excuse me, um... gives quick silver bullets. I want vials. I think I can level up though. Or at least I'm close to it. I'm gonna go back and see uh, what I need. Although Dap City said there was a way to see how much you need to level up from the, the overworld. I didn't see it. Maybe in stats. Blood Echo? No, it just says Blood Echoes. Display, maybe? Nope. R3? Nope. Mm -hmm. We're in the menu. Any ideas? You're doing good and you might learn. <laughs> is, uh, Lord is, Lord is, uh, use that for dudes. That's a dude name. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm not feeling too great tonight. A little, uh, little under the weather, but I'm, like, kind of, uh, set on beating this boss that I got wrecked by last night. I don't see in the menu, Rage, where I can, uh, see the stats. Oh, I didn't even- I didn't even see the typo page. <laughs> Dong good. So how many people still play that game, uh, Heavy Bear? Is it pretty popular? Because I know it's a few years old and I always wonder- Games like that, how they hold up over time if people still play. I figured that one might be popular because that uh, Star Wars movie came out recently. Alright, level me up. Maybe. Welcome. What is it here? Very well. Let me stand. Okay. No, I need a little bit more. Make a slightly loud. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll turn it down. All right. Any better? Let Let me know if it's still loud. I bumped it up a little bit because uh, it was a little quiet before. So I think I want to increase vitality. 
Like, skill is good for damage, but I definitely think vitality is better in the long run. Or endurance. Because that also gives me defense. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is still popular. That's good. No, is that one you have to pay, like, per month to play? Like, uh, Warcraft or something? Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Right, that's the line that she says that apparently she's only supposed to say after you beat the game. I don't know if that's true. That's what I was told. So either my game is bugged or that guy was lying. I really wish I could get the songbot working with the game. I can get it so that you guys can uh, can hear the song requests, but I can't get it. Like, I can't hear it. So it's kind of awkward. Alright, so it was 14 something, so we'll try to farm up to 500 to get a level and then fight the boss. There's gotta be a quicker way to farm these vials. This doesn't seem very effective. I mean, technically I guess I could just buy them, but where is the fun in that? Nothing, nothing. I think only the guys down here drop them. And like, not all the time. Ugh, I hate the stupid whip in the stairwells. Alright, let's, let's fail all the attacks. <laughs> I'm trying to get the stupid parry timing down, so... Can you only parry with the gun? <laughs> the ragdoll just gently rolling down the stairs. So I thought a parry is kind of just like a counterattack, so if you time it right with your melee weapon, you should be able to parry with that. But is it just with the guns, mostly? The Galactic Empire, you've played too much today, it sounds it. <laughs> if you're enjoying it though, that's good. Tough cocktail. Well, those are good too. If I have enough of those, I can just spam them on them. I think these guys might drop files too. Not all of them do. Well, we have enough to level up, so we'll go do that. Or die to basic enemies, yep, probably. I do have some minor mental map of this area that I've walked through like 80 times. <laughs> so I understand the shortcut there. What's a haze extractor? Arcane haze. Okay. Welcome home. What is it you I feel like I could make the boss fight, like, well. trivially easy Let if I just grind levels enough, but that sounds really boring. I don't know if I want endurance or vitality. Didn't it 
let's say... What? I thought it said required 1445 and then I spent 1200. What am I missing? Farewell, good. <laughs> It changes to what you need for the next level, but I thought... I'm confused. It's like it's the next next level, because when I looked at it... I guess if I press to the right... When I looked at it at first, it said I needed that. Before I went and got it all. Charlie is snoring. It's kind of cute. Getting really bored of just circling this one area, though. Hey, Karmic, how you doing? You see a shrimp? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Maybe not mentally here, but physically. Ugh, I'm getting wrecked. I really, really don't enjoy grinding. For items or anything. Experience. Like, what? I feel like... I feel like there's other ways... to... have character progression. Isn't boring yet to practice your skills. I kind of just, I want to fight other enemies. These ones are just boring me. I do like the, the transformation animation there for the cane. It's really badass. I should probably practice parrying against these dudes. That's parry, okay. Got it. And I get- I got help? No, I didn't. I lost health. <laughs> Go fight the doggos? I could fight the doggos. They died in two hits though, so they probably die in one hit. Not much chillin'? Alrighty. Day's been, uh... Day's been pretty sluggish for me over here. I, I had the day off work and I kind of, um, slept half the day. <laughs> I'm in hiber hibernation mood. I don't know why. It's just, uh, I think after working the holidays it finally caught up with me. I was very busy. But, uh, how, how was your new year, Karmic? Uh, wait. Yeah, it's still a console exclusive. And I think it probably will always be. Because I think it's one of the few games that people buy PS4 for. What is I bidding my master? Okay, you're, you're getting too into the Star Wars game. So supposedly, if you continue attacking them after they're down, sometimes you can heal? I still don't understand the, the rally and the heal mechanic. I think it's... Because I, I never heal. Because I'm bad. <laughs> I think it's only on, on uh, counterattack. Gotta rest up when you can. Yep, definitely. Hmm. Is this from the movie? I haven't seen the movie. Unless it was the first movie. That is the only Star Wars movie I've seen. Uh. Whatever the one was with Jar Jar Binks in it. I also saw, but I don't... I kind of struck that from my memory, because it was fucking terrible. Um... Alright, the blood file farming is not going great.
I think I just play super aggressive and fucking run. Steamroll the fat man. The axe one? Or the brick ones? There's two brick ones under the bridge. I might be able to bait one of those out. It's from the old movies, the best one? Last one? The best one? I'm pretty sure I've only seen the first old Star Wars movie. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get those brick dudes in the other area. See if they drop anything worthwhile. I'm gonna get wrecked though, because you need to parry those, and I don't have the parry down. <laughs> the best last one? Yep, that settles it. It's both. time where I'm gonna get demolished down here. And I don't have any pebbles. Oh, they both see me. what he wants to do. Oh, I staggered him, but I also got hit. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, he looks like Pudge from Dota, but with a brick instead of a hook. So I have to stagger slightly earlier. Or parry slightly earlier. I thought it completely interrupted their animation, but it doesn't. Unless I timed it slightly too slow, and then it does. I died, yep. I died! stupid uh I still feel like the like this button should be like the left one bumper should be the gun instead of the transformation because your finger naturally rests over that I wonder if I can remap that in the PS4 I never see that guy I don't need to all right that guy looked right at me and then turned around it's like he knew that I'm not worth his time <laughs> We can only get one attack and then we have to roll our two attacks. Alright. If only he knew the power of the dark side, we have cute kittens and puppies. Oh, if I, only I knew the power of the dark side. This, this game's pretty dark. I'm feeling pretty dark. Considering I die all the time. I died, yes. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh! <laughs> 
See, I don't really need to sneak him if I just time the whip properly. He doesn't have a chance to get an attack in. Bread echoes are floating midair. There we go. See, I wish I could fight them down here because there's more space, but at the same time I'm gonna get wrecked. I'm just trying to get the parrying timing down. My instinct is still to hit the fucking bumper and not the other one. Can I- how do I do the jump? Yes, bread echoes. It's the the technical name for them is bread echoes. All right, all right, it's game time. I'm gonna get wrecked. How did that not stagger him? How did that also not stagger him? confused. I'm just some fletto confused with the, <laughs> the parry timing. I gotta take him for a walk. <laughs> I just said, let's, let's go for a walk, buddy. I made a friend. Alright, anything else over here? I don't think I explored down here. I wish I could go to Disney World and see Star Wars. They have a Star Wars thing? Oh yeah, I forgot that they Disney owns, uh... Disney owns that franchise now, don't they? <laughs> Only heavy attacks? Those are its slight attacks? Oh. Maybe. Maybe that's it. Oh, It's like they took uh, one of those like spooky Halloween sound CDs and just constantly had it playing in the background. I gotta go find the CD player and turn it off. There's probably enemies down here. What is this? I don't think I was through here before. The device is not com currently operatable. Okay. You had a picture of your cat? I thought you didn't have a camera. Feel free to post cat pictures. Always feel free. Speaking of cat, Charlie is, is ready for her close-up. She's sitting here. Now you liter literally, they do that so well, they make you feel so unsafe through this, uh, this whole game. Alright, this is the shortcut. Ooh, I missed this when I went over here. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Um, that's the shortcut up to the werewolves. You don't know how. <laughs> is it on? Uh, is it on your phone camera, or is it on just like a digital camera? How do you not know how to upload a picture? You just post it on um, like tinypic.com or something. Upload it. dudes respawn? I don't think enemies respawn unless I go back to the uh, hunter's dream. I hope. But yeah, I do like how you never feel safe in this game. It is, it's scarier than some survival horror games I played, even though it's not really survival horror. Because some of those games you get so, uh, you're so more powerful than anything else in the game with the weapons you have. 
I guess this one probably gets to that same point. But, um, once you get certain weapons in survival horror, they're not really that scary. But in this, I feel like even if you have good weapons, you still are gonna get wrecked unless your skill's up to bat. Alright, I definitely can't buy a level from her yet. Oh, I have the, uh, the other thing. Does it show how much blood echoes I get when I use this? Ah, oh, nice. 350. Okay. Oh, one. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, that makes sense. So one is three. One is 250, and three is a thousand. Something like that. Not exactly, but. Welcome. What is it? I don't think I can afford. Very well. Let me. A level. Can't level anything up yet. Need a few more. Okay, so I don't even have to hit leave. I can just walk rudely away from her. <laughs> Poor gothic Lolita Chen. One is 350. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I understood that the number was like multiple, but I wasn't sure how many each of them was. Uh, each of them were worth. I wish I'd known before I used it, because now if I die, I have a chance of losing it, but it's fine. Alright, I'm just gonna level up one more time, and then I think I'm okay to fight the boss. I can buy some more, uh, blood, blood vials. I'm gonna end up super over-leveled for the boss by the time I actually beat him. I kinda wanna take out the fat dudes. So sometimes the whip, if I'm too close to walls, it has a nice habit of getting caught up on those. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. Don't you walk away from me. Fat dudes have a higher chance to drop blood turtles. Okay. Seems like it. They both drop two, I think. Which is decent. They're also harder to kill, so it's more risky. Nope. I have so much bullets that this is good to practice here. Nope. Okay, that does not great. That's the charge attack on the whip. That's not all- that's also not great. It's better to use the cane, I think. if I need to parry him. Up. Oh. Ow. Thank you! Nice, okay. So I took way more damage, but I got two of them. Then I can level up. So if I kill this dude, I make it out with three, basically. So I couldn't parry that, because that's like a quick attack. I'm trying to figure out what the one I can parry is. Is it that one? more round for the blood vials, you think? Considering how bad I am. 
I wish I could respawn the enemies without going back to the like hub worlds because it kind of takes a long time to load. That was close, wasn't that close? I have better luck, like, parrying the, uh, the attacks of the melee than I, or not parrying, but I guess, is parrying the same as just straight up interrupting them? Welcome, what is it you- I don't even know. Very well, let me start. Okay. <laughs> There's so many different mechanics, now I feel like. Your eye. Having never played one of these before. So I can get more skills, so I can do more deeps, or I can get more endurance, or my, more vitality. So vitality get, brings me up to that. That brings me up to that. Wait, hold on, is this a, is this a cat picture? Hold up. Alright, I gotta translate, because that's not in English. <laughs> Are you ready to add some photos? Nope. Alright, I think that link is just taking me to the upload. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so that link just takes- it. it's uh, taking me to the upload, so like, it's asking me to upload a picture. So you need to find the link that is on the specific picture, I think. I don't use Google Photos, so I'm not- I'm not sure how it works. But you can do, uh, Im Imgur. Imgur. This works pretty well. Fire just as an enemy launches an attack if the bullet hits just as their forward momentum is strongest. Okay. So I was starting too early. So I kind of have to be outside of his reach. So I was too close to him and I was shooting him as he was winding up. So I need to shoot when he's going forward. Okay. Okay. Alright, we'll try that instead. Thank you, H. And I'm gonna get more endurance, because I feel like that's good. Gun parry is timing your gun attack so that the shot lands in the middle of your opponent's attack. So that's saying it's just in the middle of the attack, okay. Or healing animation. I'm putting them into a vulnerable state where you can perform a devastating visceral attack. There is also a magic distance that standardizes parry timing amongst most firearms. And it is when your opponent is one dash away from you. That might as well be in Chinese. Uh, allows you to interrupt your opponent's blood vial consumption animation. That's for PvP, I'm assuming. Yeah, that sounds like PvP. Wait, hold up, does this one work? That's a kitty. That is a cute kitty. <laughs> How old is your kitty, uh, Heavy Bear? And is it a boy or a girl? That's a very cute kitty. I like the blue eyes. It's, it's like the opposite of Charlie. It's a white cat. Falls off the stairs, just like Argh. he's so angry. All right, we'll try the parrying again. Still not getting the hang of it. She's a girl and five or six years old. Okay. So still pretty young. Still probably has a lot of energy. Ow. Nope. Alright, so that was it. It makes a noise. It's like, ting, you did it! Congrats! Ooh. 
There's also a jump from behind attack that I don't remember the key for. Okay, he tried to do it there. I mean, I tried to do it there, but it didn't work. <laughs> Jesus. Her name is Lady. That's cute. Is she very- she's very dignified for a cat. That sounds like a very dignified name. Charlie is, is like a- like a scrappy name. I feel like- I didn't name Charlie, but it fits her. Alright, so we're coming up with a- like a net gain of uh, two blood vials here while we're practicing. It's not too bad. So he takes two strong attacks, basically, to die. Nope. Nope, a little bit more. Good thing I have all that endurance. Okay, he's- he's- he's not dead yet. Oh, I can't help. No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> So supposedly, I think either my health meter or the enemy's health meter is supposed to turn orange when I do the lifesteal. I haven't seen it because I haven't figured out how the fuck to do it yet, but that's what it's supposed to do. Alright, I'm just gonna use these uh, blood echoes to buy a couple vials and then I should be okay, I think. Maybe if I get like 20 vials, I can be it. <laughs> How many deaths am I up to? Ten? Great. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, we can get three vials. We definitely have enough Molotovs and bullets. So did you end up getting a phone, uh, Heavy Bear? I remember you said you didn't have a camera, or a phone with a camera. Sedative? Alliance on Blood Administration. Is that kind of like the drugs in Fallout? Through pressing L1 to transform... Oh, though pressing L1 to transform your trick weapon looks idle when cool, it's even cooler when you fluidly integrate that transformation into a combo? Oh boy. If you're in the middle of striking an enemy, you can press L1 to perform an attack. Okay, that also transforms your weapon into its other mode at the same time. So... If you're in the middle of striking an enemy, Press L1. Alright, I guess I have to be striking the enemy first. Yeah. It's not just swinging in the air, you actually have to be bopping someone. Nope. I was trying the strong attack. So when do I heal? When do I heal? I thought it's if you perform a visceral attack after you parry. Which is the, the strong one, I think? Or is it R1 after you parry? I'll try our one after a parry this time. Nope! Nope, I'll just get hit in the face with a brick! This is the Shrimpy Noob training montage. Stream? <laughs> okay, it's not. It's not that. Combos give HP? 
combo there. I got the whip out. Let's turn on this guy. Probably just gonna die. Oops. This trigger is so sensitive too. I'm like literally hovering my finger over it. I have to be like right in front of him because he was swinging there and I got him. I could have attacked but I don't want to get bopped. It's in succession, so the strong attack's not good for getting HP, then. The whip strong attack is also not good. Sometimes when I just spam my, uh... Or one in quick succession, it doesn't it doesn't still doesn't life leech, as far as I can tell. Alright, it's freaking me out that they're moving around <laughs> after they're dead. That one was just like a oh, hey. Do I have to switch between whip and other thing? I switched there and it didn't do it. I feel like it's only after you parry. Weapon, but these guys can. I don't know if I'm okay with that. I want to take on those wolves, but I know I'm gonna get wrecked. Kinda curious what's over there though, if they're guarding anything. Let's do it. Oh wow. Oh, okay, they're very tanky. Okay, we definitely don't want to engage them right now. It's only after you get hit- oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. And you have to hit them, like, pretty quickly, I think. Those two dudes that are on the bottom are the best to practice on. The two uh, brick ones. Do my bullets replenish completely whenever I come back here? None of the other uh, consumables do. 
I'll get 20 blood vials and then go. That seems like more than enough. But if I get- even if I have like a billion blood vials, if I get caught up in the wolf's uh, combo thing, or the boss's uh, combo. I did shoot wheelchair, but he only gave me four. And I had ten. Fire paper. Place fire to weapons? Where can I get some of that? I need that. I want that. Okay, so it makes sense though after only after I've taken damage that I can uh, heal back up. Like immediately after. It's another timing thing. Oh fuck, I got both of them. I don't want this! Okay, the other one decided he was done. They don't understand how stairs work! This is great! Don't even use chain. It's it's good though, for uh, groups. Wow, that did a lot! That seemed- was that a visceral? Instead of just a heavy attack? That seemed like a lot more. Maybe if I time my attack quicker after the parry? Yeah, I guess it's- I guess that's about right. Alright. I want another kitten they are so cute kittens! Uh, for kittens, I feel like it is good to have two. That's one thing you can rationalize if you can afford having two, because they keep each other company. They have so much energy that, like, you don't have energy to play with them all day. So it's good for them to have a buddy. That's why I got an older cat, because I can't afford having two cats, and the older cats, they need less attention and less playtime. But my brother has a younger cat. He's He's five. And uh, he's got so much energy, he's always wanting to play. Always meowing when like they're trying to sleep and stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna buy the last couple blood vials, and then we'll try the boss. I know I should probably just be buying levels, but... Oh. Alright, we can only have 20. That is max. Or ready. Alright, I'm gonna fuck this up. I'm sorry. <laughs> cause I haven't even seen- I don't even remember his patterns or anything cause I haven't played since last night. So supposedly you can't parry the boss. But you can definitely shoot him. I just- I feel like... I was missing something. So I think when he jumps, I think I have to roll towards him? I was rolling away, because that's kind of my instinct, is to roll away. But I think you're supposed to roll towards him. these blood vials I'm getting now that I don't have a space for blood vials. Is it possible to copy a save? That's cheating age. Why? I don't wanna. I don't wanna save some bloodborne. Where's the challenge in that? Right. 
It probably is possible. So when I have the torch out, I can... I can attack with it. I don't know how good it is. Okay, we're gonna get wrecked. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready! I have so many consumables that I still don't feel ready. Alright, here we go. Try the- I want to try the whip against him too at some point because I feel like it may do more damage. Nope, that's- okay. Alright, it's not what I thought it was. Alright, so we gotta stick to his butt basically. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna check his pattern this time. I'm not even gonna use blood vials. Because I haven't looked at it since last night. And I don't have any I don't have many blood echoes to even lose. Alright, so he kinda hobbles along along the length of the bridge. Juke to the Okay, juke under the spindly arm. Under the spindly arm. Yep. Hit the butt. Nope. That's the thighs. I, think I should probably strong attack, actually. Nope. Nope. What in the holy hell is that thing? <laughs> that's that's a boss. That's a bloodborne boss. I'm just trying to observe his patterns for this run. Also, is my mic level too loud? I'm yelling now because I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah, we have Molotovs. I'm gonna Molotov him, but right now I'm just trying to observe the patterns. So after he jumps, he's vulnerable for a moment. What if I shoot him? I'm also trying to see how long I can survive with 2 HP. <laughs> I think he only jumps when I get a certain distance from him. Oh! He's got two- okay, he has two tar- he, he has two, um, things you can target. You can target his head or his abdomen. Why did you stab a statue? He had it coming! Alright, what if I shoot him in the head? Okay, it does stun him. Alright, it's four hits and it stuns him in the head. Alright, so I got the basics down. Up, I hit the button. Where is my lightsaber? <laughs> I don't think that would work here. Fire, fire is the answer. We got a Molotov him. But I'm saving. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get him to like a third health, and then just Molotov his face into submission. Wait, I. Oh, does it? So the the blood vials in storage. I think it automatically puts in my inventory when I die, because I didn't. I had 19, and then now I have 20. That's cool. So I don't even have to go back. I like that. I died, yep. Why am I fighting these guys? Oh, 
Okay, he was fucking chasing me. That was not fair. <laughs> Fighting in the stairways is kind of awkward. Okay, then you'll use the Death Star. <laughs> Just fight him from orbit. this time. Died, get good, thank you. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Seriously? He's dead. <laughs> he like lurched upright. What an ass. Get me out of here. I'm having 
in the shadow of the Colossus problem here. Where I feel like I'm fighting my camera. Attack after you get hit, yep. Yep. But it's not enough HP to offset the fucking massive amount of damage that he does. Because I think it's based on how much damage you do. Which I do, I think, like 70 or 80 a hit, which is fucking awful. I'm trying to whip this time. Yeah, I know I died on the blood echoes. I know I had like 200 of them. It's not the end of the world. Tilted. I'm just uh, confused as to what I'm supposed to do here. I'm obviously missing some super basic pattern. Alright, we'll try the whip this time. of the gimpy arm. Alright, this is a new attack pattern. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not even gonna not even gonna heal here. This is a bad run. I don't understand, so I guess I have to be like right under his uh his gimpy arm. The boss sounds like a thing on fire he does. That's accurate. That's accurate. Ugh, I'm gonna die like 30 times on the first boss. I should just do this, like... Ugh. This game is, is fucking uh, not great to stream for me. While I'm trying to learn the basics. He didn't do that other attack before, though. I'm not sure what triggers it. The pick you up and pummel you into the ground one? That's new. Charlie, no! No! I can't pause. She's right in my face. Thank you. He knows I need help. He's like, here, take this blood vial! And then I just beat him up. Charlie, move, honey. No. Oh god. You're not helping. You're not helping. You're not helping. Go. Ooh. Oh, and she's back from her. Go. Go, Charlie. Go, honey. Go over there. Go that way. And 
I didn't figure out if the stupid whip was any better than the cane in that whole thing. How the f- oh, he's got like nails sticking out of his legs. Thing when he does that. What the fuck? He never did that before. I'm so confused. It's easier to roll around him, I feel like, but with the camera locked on him, like I need to see him, I, um, I only can sidestep. age, but it's got such a huge range. And he switches it up based on the distance you are from him. Like, he does that grab one when you're right up under him. He jumps when you're too far away. Now I'm shooting the wrong one. Doing the right thing, whatever that may be, at this moment in time. Fuck. He's gotta be pretty close for that. What the? I'm pressing my fucking. <laughs> I'm trying to press my healing button. Alright, Molotov has a wind up on it. He's- he's angry. I'm trapped. Fuck. Well, that was better. We got him to half health. I think I- so... So when he gets all the way to the end, I have to like... I have to run the other direction before I get within the door frame. Because once I'm in there, I get fucked. I get cornered. I'm not watching whatever video that is. I'm gonna do what I'm doing. Actually, I need bullets. I need bullets to do what I'm doing. Kill- I'll go kill the cripple to get some bullets! Fuck. Hey Crispy, how's it going? Welcome- welcome to, uh, the Salty stream. Dodge roll. Yeah, it works. Dodge roll works. Also, sh uh, shooting him in the face. <laughs> Fuck. Tilted! I'm tilted. great and I decided to stream anyway but it was probably a poor life choice because it's just it's just adding to the tilt. Chrissy's angry his manhood is on fire. Yes. Yeah, I know I double died. I didn't have anything. Why are 
are his eyes glowing? Is that an indicator that he's carrying something? Okay. Okay. I've never seen that, so that's when they pick up your blood echoes, they glow like that. Enemy dropped. What? You're talking about the blood echoes that I picked up off of them? Enemy dropped blood vial. Weird. I just I keep blowing by this one because he like barely ever drops them. It's more of the later ones that do. I'm trying to farm up uh, bullets. Lit. So I like the strat I was doing. Like hit him four times in the head, and then he uh, drops and you do the combo. That seemed to work pretty well. And then you get them low enough to Molotov them. I'm getting so sick of this area. It's my main motivation in being the boss is just to see the rest of the game. Because I know there's so much more out there. It always sounds so scary, even though it's like the safe spot. There's all, always uh, so many noises. There are only 18 more areas. <laughs> it's probably more than that. This is my New Year's plans? What is this? Gaming! Gaming. Party and gaming. <laughs> Cute. A lot of gaming. Mine is gaming, working, gaming, watching TV, gaming, concerts, gaming. Sick. One blood vial. Just, I just wish I could respawn the crippled dude in the wheelchair <laughs> so I could just get the bullets so I could farm them. But I can't. I have to keep going back here to respawn him. He has four bullets on him every time. So it's so easy to max out the bullets there. He's dropping blood vials. Is the game taking pity on me? It's like, oh, she's died like five times to the first boss. Gotta give her more blood vials, or she might not keep playing. Iron Jesus is smiling on me today. Wow, look, he dropped two. I was joking, but they're all dropping blood vials. So if he takes four shots to the head. I definitely need more bullets. I think I'm gonna get one more round of bullets. Seriously, like these guys both 
drop two blood vials. It doesn't have a scaling difficulty level, right? I don't think it does. I think I'm just getting lucky. You can make bullets with your bloods, yeah, but I need my bloods because I get hit a lot. So if I make bullets with my bloods now, do they disappear when I get back to the Hunter's Dream? Let's find out. How long do blood bullets last? Because I heal up when I go back, so I'm assuming they're gone. Before you know it, they will replace the AI with the sluggers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There, okay, they disappear, so that doesn't work. Gothic Lolita Chan is disappointed in me. <laughs> Alright, we should be okay. With my luck, I'll probably uh, accidentally get like the boss down to his last HP and then freaking kill myself with blood bullets. Monocular. Monoculus. I like the slug crews, they're cute in their own way. I don't know if the, uh, I think I get myself, too, with f picking the fucking, uh, the cane. Because my basic, uh, my past buffed my strength. But I need skill for the, uh, the cane. Beats boss dies to enemy snail after boss room. If I beat the boss, I think I should probably backtrack to, uh, wherever I was. Backtrack to the, the lantern, I mean. See, they're all dropping blood vials now. I feel like they... M I don't... I don't know if that's normal. The game is having mercy on me. See? Like, seriously? That, that's gotta be intentional at this point, because they've all dropped them. <laughs> I have no part in this, other than being awful. Oh, these guys didn't. They did! He dropped two! He dropped two. Alright, well, either we were going the wrong way to farm the vials that whole time, or, uh, the game is having mercy on us. kind of casually look at you as you walk by. Alright.
Wait till he's clipped to shoot. I don't know the range on the thing. <laughs> now I know. Now I know. I died. <laughs> Thank you every time. Every time, H, for informing me. Yes, cats cats are good pets. If you get a good cat. Some cats are really not great. Like some cats are not friendly and they're aggressive. That's why I feel like a lot of people hate cats. Um because they like they have a lot of experience with cats or that are aggressive or um just not real friendly. Like my last cat would bite people if they pet anywhere other than her head. Not my current cat like rolls over for belly rubs and stuff. Also, when the boss stomps or hits you, try to beat the shit out of him immediately. So most times, when he stomps or hits me, I'm fucking out of commission. Like, I'm not down. Because he's so big. As far as I can tell. I can try it, but... It's, it's hard. Because I get knocked out. Five seconds after? I don't know how long you get knocked down for. Oh, I have the fucking torch. <laughs> oh, you yeah, like stab in the eyeball. That's awesome. Knocks you so far back half the time. Ow. Where am I? The blood echoes. Bullets, it's bad. Yeah, we don't have enough. Shit, he hadn't healed then either. I thought he did. I thought he did the animation. This one. Like 
you keep falling way too far back, but when I'm close, that happens. That happens. He just picks me up and is like, BAM! That's what you get. We're getting too close. Hey, Ankesh, how's it going? Japanese giant hedgehog <laughs> tentacle monster versus shrimpy noobie. Noob. Yeah, he's, uh, he's wrecking me. I died like 20 times. I died 20 times. Am I up to 20? I'm getting close. 18! Sick! This is demoralizing. This is like absolutely demoralizing. <laughs> I am one with the mosquito. I'm like, deet, deet, just like gently stabbing him. I need fucking bullets. That's what I need. I need so many bullets. I need all the bullets in the game because that was working. That, that strategy is working for me. But you see, like, I can't- I can't get the HP at back age when he knocks me over. Like, after he attacks me, I'm out of commission for quite a while. You can only really hit him in the butt. Or in the thighs. Like, the hand is, uh, is okay. But only when it's on the ground. How much were the bullets to buy? Were they expensive? The way I'm doing it seems to be the most effective. Like, if they set you up to combo like that, I just have to watch for when he heals his, his face. Because you can only do it after he, like, resets the, uh, the face. I'm just gonna farm bullets. I don't know how expensive it was to buy them. I have plenty of vials. I have 17 vials. You should watch the video walkthrough. Did they do it differently than I'm doing? Because that seems to be the strategy. Or at least one that functions. Is there something up here? No, nope, just more dudes. I don't think I can upgrade anything else. No. Like, what do they do differently in the video? I'm not gonna stop and watch a video right now. Wow, they're expensive! It's- <laughs> it's 160 for one bullet? One- one bullet! One bullet. Dude. Dude. Dude, what? Dude, I, I died uh, 20 times on the first boss. I've been playing this for like an hour and a half. And half of it, honestly, wasn't actually fighting the boss, it was just farming up the goddamn blood vials. So I've probably been fighting the boss for a total of like two fucking hours. Rifle spear! Why can't I have one of those? I just have this gimpy ass cane! <laughs> I want a rifle spear! I just have a gimpy cane. Now they're not dropping blood vials. So he basically only shoots you if you go right in front of him. healing me there either. Unless I missed it. Because I let him hit me and then didn't notice the healing.
feel like the video walkthrough can only help me so much because a lot of it's just down to my reflexes, which are not good. It's the part where he changes up his attacks based on how close you are to him that's fucking me up. So I think it's when you're really close to him, but on his front he grabs you. So you have to constantly be on his butt. They say don't lock the camera and focus on charge attacking his legs. That's what I'm doing. So basically what I do is after the uh, the shooting his head, which I have to lock the camera for, I charge attack him, then combo it, and then when he's regening his head I unlock the camera because I can't see shit if it's locked. Excuse me, but to charge attack his legs I think you have to be behind him. And even then it does like piddling damage. That guide was better? Okay, if I die this time I'll watch it. Thank you for for helping. Or attempting to help. That I don't know, maybe I'll I'll have to do it off stream. Probably pretty painful watching me hack and slash the same three enemies over and over again. It's so boring. I think there's, there's not much of a, a way to make that entertaining. his limbs? Reading the stupid chat. Oh, I did heal, okay. Nice. When he does the healing, he regens limbs. And then you can stagger him again. That's what goes on with his head. So you can do that to his legs as well? What about his big, big hand? It shouldn't be that complicated. I think you're just supposed to roll around his butt and poke him until he dies. Alright, one more. Then we'll be full up. I'm gonna end the stream at 10 tonight though, because I have to work at... Uh... I gotta work at 8 tomorrow. Yeah, no, Mol I, I had the feeling to save the Molotovs for the end. I didn't know what his ending pattern was, but I, um, I had that feeling. You need 10? Really? Seems like overkill. It seems like it's overcomplicating it. A little bit. Hey, Deb City! Yep, yep, that's, uh... <laughs> That's about the amount of salty I'm on now. If there's like like a 0 out of 10 or like 0 through 10 salt scale, I'm probably at about a 6. If I die again, it might be a 7. I keep dying in the main- the first boss. <laughs> the video is 4 minutes and you can beat the boss in 2 minutes. See, the thing with videos is I see the strats and then I go and try it and I still fucking die. That's the problem. Because I just don't have the uh, reflexes to execute whatever they're showing. You chose not to put salt on my <laughs> french fries earlier because you knew the stream is high sodium content tonight. <laughs> You'd make your doctor proud. No, uh, no high blood pressure. It will help. I can watch it age, but I, I can almost guarantee you that it won't help. It, it probably, probably won't help me. I'm gonna go buy another Molotov and then we'll be good. I'm sure it is a good strat, but like, it's not the strat that's the problem. I have a strat 
that's working, like, to get him to half health. No, I didn't kill the cleric beast, that's the problem! <laughs> so, I'm hitting him in the head four times. Uh, I'm, like, heart attacking his face and then comboing it and it, get, does, it gets him about half HP. And then I just get wrecked. Alright, I'm gonna watch this video because H won't stop telling me to watch the goddamn video. Hold on. Alright, internet. Hold on. The fastest run to the Cleric Beast is via right, the I shortcut, sound, which you can I'm learn about in the, the previous episode of the Dream Guide. The, uh, now there is a bit to learn about fighting I'll the Cleric Beast, this. and there are very good ways to do it, and very bad ways. Uh, if you're doing it the very bad yeah, way, so you're probably to behind squaring it, which is what I'm trying to do. And if you're doing it the good way, you're probably intimately familiar with his thighs. But the fight can be over in two minutes if you do it my way. In when I attack his thighs, he fucking picks me up and smashes me into the ground. So how is this Step guy not one, getting picked up? The majority of your damage to the, the cleric side? beast should be from like, charge the attacks. Again? These do way more damage, and they cripple his limbs faster. Whenever you charge your attack with R2, aim See, for his legs or his This is what I'm trying to do, but I feel arms. like every time I do that, I get attacks picked on up, any limb or should he be swings. enough to cripple it. And when he keels over like this, you have another chance to fully charge and attack again, or heal. He also has a you different weapon You can tell which limb you damaged, damage. because it will be all bloodied and messed up. So unlock your camera, and spend most of your time as close as you can possibly get to his legs or his back. His side swipe attack does barely any damage, weapons. and if you keep an eye on what his arms like are doing, you should strategy. be able to dodge no, I wasn't, effectively I wasn't through all of his attacks. Unless I was, uh, if you're directly behind him, he can't damage you at all. If the cleric Age, beast is ever backed against the wall, it's very difficult to position yourself correctly. So, that's not my so if this happens, we move my on. Is just being ten. <laughs> Lock on to the cleric beast and dash backwards. You want to position him in the middle of the bridge if you can, because He's then you'll always have doing. room to get around him. And, if and while you're repositioning him, him yeah, chances are you'll have the chance to shoot him. Lock onto his upper body and start aiming for his head. After a few shots on his head, he will keel over and give you the opportunity to initiate a critical attack with R1. After you've done your critical That's on his doing. head, you won't be able to do it again until he heals it. This, obviously not this doing is it his well healing enough. animation. Keep an eye out for it. He can heal all of his limbs as well, so you should pay attention to this red glow, because the red glow is around the body part he heals. And once he's healed it, it means you can stagger him again. If this fight is done correctly, the Cleric Beast should spend half his time being staggered really or healing him. himself, making it very easy right, for you so to keep up your assault. Space. You'll have plenty of times to heal, granted you stay behind him and keep an eye on his See, arms. See, whenever I was like fucking punching his thighs, he was picking me up. What is he doing that I'm not doing? And around this about. point, he gets stupidly aggressive, like he attacks non-stop, even if you're nowhere near him. Use this to your advantage and move on to step three. And I know the so game only on gets more difficult after this, which is or just uh, sprint away from him. And throughout Central Yarnum, in the first episode my, uh, of the guide, there was about the ten Molotov much? cocktails and oil urns that you should have found in the world. So start lobbing these at the cleric beast, because fire does increase damage to beasts. Be careful of his long-range attacks, but that's two it. Molotovs. This fight should that definitely like be over Molotovs. at this point, and you Get should him. have killed him in less than two minutes. So right. if this helped you, oh, please leave fuck. a like and subscribe if you want to join me for your adventures Whatever. through Bloodborne. The only question I, I have with this cleric like, beast fight shoot. is, what exactly does damage on his limbs do? <sighs> you can't wait for shrimp to fight a gas gasion gasion. Gassioni. How do you say that name? Uh, I, that's if I get to him. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to him at this rate. Ever. This is bad. It's real bad. Alright guys, I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna take a moment to collect my, my thoughts. I didn't blat the Mater Chen. <laughs> I'll be right back.
I'm still not ready. I'm still not ready, but I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. Pee pee. <laughs> yep. Um, spaghetti, tomatoes, basil, olive, steak, shrimpy noob. What else? Wow. That that actually sounds really good. I had um, I had pasta and beef for dinner. Wasn't very exciting. A little garlic. I'm gonna buy another Molotov. <laughs> or a bullet. Molotov or bullet? Molotov. <sighs> I was really- so I was really excited about this game and then it just- it slowly, like, started crushing my spirit bit by bit. Bit by bit. It's getting worse. And I'm just sick of seeing this area over and over again. And then going back to the hunter's dream over and over again. <laughs> I prefer my shrimp with Alfredo sauce and pasta and in scampi. That sounds delicious right about now. I would definitely rather be eating shrimp scampi than fighting this boss. I hate when he when he falls down. God. See the thing is, I, I thought I could do it the uh, the 18 other times. <laughs> the 18 other times that I've uh, faced him, it's it's less than that. I died other places, but I um I feel like I'm not getting better at this boss. Like I'm not reading his patterns right. Or something? I, I don't know. Thank you for the words of encouragement though, guys. I'll, I'll, I will get it eventually. I know I will. It's just, uh, kind of painful to play and for uh, people to watch until then. My first playthrough, there were some bosses that took me over 50 tries. So did you play, um, did you play any Dark Souls game before you played Bloodborne or was that your first? Cause this is my first like any any Soulsborne game. So everything is new. So I feel like that makes it ultra difficult for me. Alright, so I did get the hold there. Okay. Alright. Those guys are easier though, because the big boss knocks me over, so I can't get help from him. You know, I mean I'm not I'm discouraged, but like I know I know you gotta you gotta practice, you gotta get good. Oh, you played them all? Okay. So that's a little more encouraging, because I know, um... I was like, I was reading on, uh... I was reading about the game on Reddit and forums and stuff, and people are like, Yeah, Bloodborne's so much easier than the other Dark Souls games, and like, all this stuff. But most of those people had played, uh... Played all the, the Souls games before this one. So I don't really have any sort of comparison point. The most difficult game that I've played was probably, uh... I don't even know. The most difficult game I played recently was Hyperlight Drifter, and that wasn't that hard. But I like playing games that are way above my skill level, if that makes sense. Blood Echoes! Alright. Alright. Off to a bad start, we should have rolled. Untarget. Roll. Charlie's ready to roll with us. <laughs> Charlie, get away! I love you. I love you, but you're. This is not the time. <laughs> She's looking at me with like the most loving face. I can't even pause. That's the problem. Like I can't even pause to pet her. Okay, I hit him in the face four times and it did nothing. There we go. Ah, oh, I was too slow on the follow-ups. You're too slow! Alright, 
Alright, so now he's his head is not attackable. On target. Roll. Heal. Roll. Attack booty. Oh, I rolled into him. Nice. <laughs> Alright, now I can shoot him again. If I don't get wrecked. Oh, I can stall. I can't get around him. Still targeted, I know. <sighs> okay. This were mine and days of the tentacle. Day of the tentacle? Today on PlayStation PSN for free? Oh, okay. I don't I don't have that though. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I don't pay the uh the twenty dollars a month or whatever it is. How much is it anyway? I died, yep. Yep, I died. Do you know I died? Do you know? Shoot, you gotta shoot while the boss is striking. It's like, like a parry. I missed the audio on the video. I didn't need the audio. I saw what he was doing. So I got the parrying down with the brick dudes in the alley here, but it's different timing for all of them as far as I can tolerate. I just feel like I can't roll around him effectively whether I have the camera on him or not. Gotta attack his limbs non-stop. And only do the gun thing when you can't fuck around his legs. So his, um... When I attack his limbs, he fucking swipes me over. That's what I'm getting caught up on. Seriously? And also basic enemies. <sighs> Get full up on bullets, actually. Like, I can't- I don't know if it's just my timing or what, or the side that I'm on, but I feel like every time I go to attack his hand I get swept over. When you're regenerating stamina? What, you mean shooting him? All the, the lore for these items that I'm never gonna get because I'm never gonna get out of this first area. Ugh. All right, we'll buy another blood boil. All right, literally, I'm going to show you what happens when I focus on attacking his thighs. Because that's the first thing I tried, my first attempt. My very first attempt, I just attacked his thighs. And you have to constantly roll around him. Wait, this is just the tutorial, yep. I guess it's technically the first boss. I should have picked a different weapon too. I like this one, like it's silent, but... I didn't get that far. I guess I had like half health. If that.
Because I don't know if I should be in cane or whip form. I think the cane does slightly more damage, but the whip has like a bigger range. Or so I don't have to be like right on top of them. Red echoes! Swiping me with his gimp hand. sickness inducing. screeching in my nightmares. Try to roll into him that way. Alright, he regened. I think. myself. Ugh. Kane hits harder and doesn't get snagged on shit. Yeah, but I can attack him from further away with whip. I didn't use many blood vials, so we're good. I can just go right back. I died, yes. Thank you. Uh, no. No. You, you have to attack him and then roll away or he just picks you up or bops you. As far as I can tell. You can't just keep wailing on him. Either way, you probably won't be using the cane soon. Okay. Well, that's good. If I ever get past this section, I can get another weapon. <laughs> I was looking for one before this section. I like the cane, I really do. I just, uh... I just didn't, uh... So with my stats, I didn't think it through. Because if you look at my stats, I had, um... I picked the thing that gives you more strength. And I have low skill, like really low skill. Um, and that's what gives you cane damage. So I didn't think that through, because I didn't know how any of that worked. I should have picked the one that scaled with strength. I know all these guys 
guys have like perfect night vision. At least I'm like, so I feel like if anything I'm doing better, I'm not wasting so many fucking blood vials because I spent so much time before just trying to farm them for attempts on this boss and now I, it doesn't really take that long. Alright, so we got him to about half. Oh, nice! Blood Echo's right there! Lucky day. So even all that is like... 175 damage, like four attacks basically. I want to try to fight him towards the center of the bridge so I don't get cornered like I keep doing. I wish I could get it so that I can land close to him there, but not um, under him. Because when I get stomped on, that does so much. But I feel like it's gonna be like with Hyperlay Drifter, where eventually something will click and I'll get the hang of it. That game I was getting wrecked constantly by every boss, and then finally, finally something clicked. I was able to beat them. He used to fucking land on me when I rolled once. Like, even if he is hitting you at his thighs, you regain the health loss by hitting- He fucking knocks me over, age. He knocks me over. That's why. That's why I retreat, because if I sit there and keep- I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna sit there and fucking just keep wailing at his thighs, and he's gonna knock me over. Imagine the satisfaction you will get when you beat a boss. Yeah, that's the only the only thing pushing me through, honestly. And seeing the rest of the game, because I really, really love the environment, the atmosphere. It's just uh, I haven't seen any of it because I'm still in the tutorial, like six hours in. It's a little embarrassing. I'm almost thinking I should just grind this boss up on the uh, stream.
Because I know I can get it. Like, I, I know I can. I just, uh... Just am not getting it. Alrighty. I don't think I upgraded the death counter. Alright, we're just gonna wail on his thighs constantly. We'll see, we'll see how far that gets us. You need Brad coming in with his supercopter and giving the rocket launcher. <laughs> no, what I need is is like in uh like in Akira when they had that huge like fucking uh dome explosion. I just need that just concentrated on the bridge. I died two times, I know. I did it, I upgraded it two times. I think this is because you chose the wrong eye colors. <laughs> that must be it. That must be it. This game is uh, this game's definitely more difficult when we're seeing in we're seeing in two different colors, right? That's how eye colors work. That's definitely how that works. The <laughs> huge breasts don't help either. I was hoping I could use them as a distraction. It's not working. They're really not that huge. They're like they're disappointing. I can know I know who can help to kill him, Jason. <laughs> Have you played the uh the Friday the thirteenth game, Heavy Bear? I was watching people play it, it looked pretty funny. We gotta pay attention to our stamina. Where are my blood echoes? Not that it matters. Oh, there they are. I don't really care. me up again. I have a quote bot. H just doesn't use it because he likes to piss me off. <laughs> See, he picks me up. He picks me up and it does so much fucking damage. How do I avoid that? I can't fucking get on his thighs! It's not a lot of echoes. Ugh. It really isn't. That's probably like 10 minutes of just running through that one area. I don't even think I have time to whap his arm. I died, I know, age, I know, you don't have to say it. The game says it. Yeah, I know it's 2000. I know. I can read. It really isn't all that much. That's literally just for me running at that boss, like running through this area five times and dying at that boss. That's all that's from. Like, I have enough trouble concentrating on the damn boss instead of running after the blood echoes every time.
Alright, I'm trying to hit him. Hit him in the groin, but it ain't working. Tonight I gotta I gotta stop in uh, ten minutes. So three hours of this is enough. <laughs> uh, I might I might just finish this one off stream. Honestly, it's getting it's holding me too much. I can't concentrate. I need more bullets too. Ugh. Yeah, I stopped hitting his legs because he went into berserker mode and started flailing at me. Like, there's there's one animation he gets locked into that you can't attack his legs. This is so easy, can Bert beat first try yet? No. No. I found that hard to believe. Gonna farm up some more bullets. tough for me because I feel like like after work and stuff I just want to play uh, something relaxing and I want to play this game because I do like it but it's not relaxing it's the opposite of relaxing <laughs> so uh, I get stressed out then I get tilted then I get bad or worse than usual 
I don't need to grind enemies here for a week. It's not in the grinding, it has- it's nothing to do with the grinding, or the leveling. It's just... the timing. I'm not angry. I just uh, frustrated more than anything. I don't usually get angry at video games. I'm just frustrated that I have the reaction time of a potato. Because I can see, like, I can see the opportunities to parry and stuff, but I don't physically, or to dodge, but I don't physically react quick enough. I should get another round of bullets even. Cause I feel like that's how you deal like the bulk of the damage is when he does that. And he crouches down after you hit his head a few times. I like my potato smell after your choice picked. <laughs> I like a mash. Mash is always good. To be York and you can win. <laughs> so it'll be like it'll be like the monster screeching, and then it'll be Bjork screeching. It'll be great. It'll be like a mashup. Remember that time you died on the last boss with one HP in the shadow of the Colossus? That didn't happen. I didn't actually die. I fell off the the boss while he had like one eight, one hit left, and then I had to climb all the way back up him, and then I wasn't able to get back to the fucking head for forty five minutes. I remember that. That was a good time. <laughs> That was fantastic. Alright, one more run through. Supposedly, uh, you can skip this boss too. I don't know how, but I read about that on the internet. That sounds badass. Welcome to the tilt. I feel like my tilt is not very strong. Oh, the first mandatory boss is the one that you're like, great. <laughs> Can't wait to see Shrippy fight that after I died uh, 23 times to the first boss. <laughs> oh, quit, quit Bloodborne tough. Nice. So this might be the type of game that I play for like one stream a week like I was planning on and then take like a breather, like a Bloodborne breather, <laughs> and then play it some more because uh, I don't know if I can handle playing it uh, a few days in a row without losing my shit. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Hey Oini Musha, welcome to the Tilted Bloodboard stream. The last few minutes of it before I go to bed. Been grinding blood vials and dying at the first boss for like fucking three hours. Most who quit Bloodborne quit at that guy's name who I can't pronounce. Okay. Well I'm about to quit on the first boss, so it's bad. I'm not actually, I'm not gonna quit, but I might try to beat this boss off stream just so I can kind of get on with it. The game. How you doing tonight, Onimusha? Shrimpy, I am dead two times. Next to the last Resident Evil boss without save in three days. Are you still going for that trophy? That's horrible. That must be so frustrating. That, that's more frustrating than this, because that's that's like five hours of playing each time, isn't it? Or more than five hours? I don't even remember the last boss in Resident Evil. 
honestly. I played it so long ago. Was that the big mutant guy? Not that it narrows it down, because I feel like that's every enemy <laughs> in the endgame of Resident Evil is a big mutant guy. Hmm. Alright. Alright, this is where we get salty again. Oh, it's big timer. Okay. All right. I remember now. This is the big mutant. Does Tyrant chase you in another game, or is that only Nemesis? I don't remember. I want the blood echoes. I'm gonna die for them. If this asshole picks me up again... As a small person, it makes it more annoying. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I always have people, like, try to pick me up. Try to physically pick me up in real life. <laughs> and it's fucking annoying. At least they don't slam me into the ground and try to beat me into a pulp, but... Nope! Oh my god. This asshole! Run! How do I keep him from doing that? I know I have to be aggressive, but I'm like up his butthole when he does that. Run! No, why am I in the front? No! No, 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 stop turning! I'm trying to hit your butt. We're out of stamina, that's not good. I can't, like, fucking get around him. I know I'm supposed to hit his thighs from around him. Because if I hit him from the front, I just get the... He picks me up again. Not connecting. I think I'm hitting him. I can't fucking tell because the camera's in such a weird place. We're doing no damage. arm there. Nope. Nope. When I was trying to hit him, I couldn't. Wouldn't let me attack. I'm hitting him and I'm not regening, even though I just seem to take damage. Like, I'm, it takes me like four hits to regen one of his hits. It's a lot. That's a dumb spot to heal. That's another dumb spot to be. Yeah, literally, it takes so many hits to regen one of his. This is not a good run. Timed that wrong. It's cool how the legs get bloody, though. I like that a lot. Ow. Dead. Dead. 
I'm done. I'm done for tonight. I gotta just keep tilting at this. It's not good. <sighs> yeah, now this this is supposedly easier than Dark Souls, but I haven't played any of them, so I have nothing to compare it to. It's hard as fuck for me, though. You joined the, sh the shrimp squad? Yeah, I saw you! I saw you on the Discord, Deb City. My friend, like, my friend, uh, messaged me. She's like, I don't know who this Deb City is, but I like his name. <laughs> I died, yeah. Apparently you can get an item that, that helps you fight him. Is it called skill? Is it called skill? That is the item I need to equip in my inventory. But I gotta stop for tonight, because I have to work at, like, the ass crack of dawn tomorrow. And I'm getting, uh, getting ultra tilted. But I'm gonna stream it again tomorrow night, and maybe beat this this guy. I don't know, it's not looking great. The magic eight ball seems to be pointing to no at this point. I don't know. But I might beat it off stream. I didn't explore this area, but... What area? So the only area... The sewers? Like... Like where... Wait, what sewers? Oh, whatever, I'll figure it out tomorrow night. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for staying through the salt and the tilt. <laughs> Hopefully it'll get better tomorrow. Ugh, if not, like I said, I might just take a day and just uh, go through this one on my own. Just so I can move the stream along a bit, because it's not very exciting. Playing through the same part for uh, each three-hour stream. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good night.